You're watching YBL TV. Coming up, let's hear how LG Electronics is raising the standard of digital signage in commercial LED displays with IPS technology. Please welcome Dan Smith, Director of Sales, Commercial Display. If we're at the McCarran Airport, I'm sure we're going to see something like this there, right? <laughs> right, one of the world's first installations of an 84-inch 4K panel, ultra high definition. This is a eight megapixel per frame display. So you'll see it in McCarran Airport as you come through the decon course in the rotunda. I absolutely love it. What's the bezel? The bezel on this one's around 18 millimeters. What's been the response here at the show? Well, every year we keep thinking that we've reached the pinnacle of displays and it's gonna be hard to beat it for the next year. And this year we've beat it again. Not only has picture quality increased, but size and resolution has increased. So the bar keeps raising and as the image quality increases and the size increases, the display becomes more immersive and more engaging. Tell us about IPS, the, the technology. Glad you asked about that. A lot of people think that LCDs are all the same, but everybody manufactures different. The in-plane switching, or IPS as you referred to it, that builds this panel, the construction techniques, is significantly different from the competition. The IPS offers better color accuracy, wider color gamut, wider viewing angle, but maybe a simpler way to state it is better overall viewing experience. And on top of that, it's also very heat tolerant and durable, so the longevity is expected to be much better. What are some of the challenges then for outdoor signage? Well, so IPS, I'm glad that you asked, offers outdoor benefits as well. A lot of televisions or screens, when you take them outdoor, if you get the screen temperature too hot, the screen will actually go black and you no longer get an image. That's called going isotropic. IPS offers the advantage that you can take the surface of this panel up to 230 degrees Fahrenheit before it blackens, which means now we can take this product outdoors. And what's been really significantly different over the past year is as we move to an LED backlight, we can get this bright enough to be outdoors. So now we have brightness and temperature tolerance, which means we've doubled the size of the available use of this panel, because we're not just talking about indoor anymore, we're also addressing the outdoor market. So Dan, behind us, we've got the Interactive 84-inch. Tell us more. <laughs> well, so Interactive is, is something we've been doing for a while, but we've been talking about the new introduction of 84-inch ultra-high definition, the 8 megapixel. So what happens is when you go to a large format like this, you're standing two or three feet away as she is right now, and if you do a standard definition product, which is only two megapixels, or full high def, FHD, whatever term you want to put to it, you see the pixels. You see the granularity of the image. So when you go to this eight megapixel image, you actually lose the detail and you actually see continuous images and you don't see the individual pixels. So when people are buying, when businesses are, are considering buying any of your panels, uh, your displays, what, what should be some of the key factors that they should be considering besides just maybe price point? Well, in the case of the, the touch here, the way you see, you'll see her manipulating it, the speed, the resolution, the ability to zoom things in and out, uh, but it comes down to, in this application, when you're talking about ultra high definition or eight megapixels per frame, you need a source generally that's capable of producing that. So most of the sources in today's age for an eight megapixel or ultra high def is gonna be a computer. So people that are using this would be like medical or a network operation and control center. So maybe you're looking at the current traffic patterns or a sewer system or electrical grid system or something like that. So a lot of network operation control is gonna be uh, the early adopters of this type of size, resolution, and touch. 72 inch diagonal screen. Dan, this thing is just absolutely mammoth. I, to be honest with you, I haven't seen anything, well, I mean, like it. <laughs> so uh, we, we joke around a lot that this is our bright idea because this panel you'll notice is much brighter than a standard panel. So a television you have in your living room, they have a brightness rating called NITS. A standard television in your living room is around 500 NITS. This is 2000 NITS, which means it's four times brighter than what you'd use in your living room. So obviously the question is why would you want it so bright? If you're gonna take a panel outdoors, this one can actually be viewed in direct sunlight. So we talked earlier about the temperature tolerances will not blacken until the surface temperature reaches 230 degrees, which is well within tolerance of being in direct sunlight, but it's also bright enough to give you a full intelligible image, even in direct sunlight. Absolutely stunning. 